My name is Trish Mweketsi Njogu and the name of my business is Tumi Wellness Limited. Tumi Wellness offers premium, professional mobile spa services and we are happy to offer all these services within the space of Nairobi and the outskirts. Well, it was actually a twofold reason. So the reason I started this initiative was at the time that I just had my second child, I found myself in a space where I was limited to the house a lot of the time. And during that time, uh, being the ambitious person that I am, I always felt very restless. So what I was looking for at the time was a business that I could do from home and a business that I was very passionate about. So having had experience within the spa industry, it felt like a very natural decision to make to go into home spa services. Because just like me, there were women sitting at home and gentlemen as well who are looking for spa services, but were not able to leave the house. So it was just, I guess you could say, a marriage made in heaven. So I would say the biggest beneficiaries of my work so far have been, number one, the therapists that we work with. We have a fantastic team of therapists. Most of them are single mothers. So having the opportunity to work with them and to give them a chance to pick their own hours that do not interrupt their family's um, way of operation has been one of the greatest joys that we have had. It's a weekly success. So we operate more or less from Tuesday to Tuesday and being able to help these women, the therapists that we have in the team, to support their families um, in a way that works for their household has been such a great success and very fulfilling. Of course, we've had um, a fair amount of media attention and we've had um, a few accomplishments that are worth talking about, but the most fulfilling so far have been the value we bring to the therapist and the value we bring to the clients. I think the major challenges we have faced has been getting people to understand that we are a professional business. I think in the space whereby uh, spa services have been viewed as something that is unprofessional, it's been quite a challenge helping people change their minds and change their ideas around what our industry is about. So I would say that one of the greatest challenges has been the lack of understanding about the industry. Um, another challenge would be that during COVID with social distancing, it was really difficult to offer our services. Uh, but thankfully, we managed to overcome that by just being obsessive about the COVID protocols and ensuring that we did the best we could to keep our clients and our therapists safe. In the next five to ten years, we see ourselves as market leaders within the wellness industry. As you know, wellness is a multi-billion dollar industry and within Kenya, I feel that we have just scratched the surface on what we can achieve within the industry. So us having been the market leaders with regards to mobile spa services, I believe that that is just the starting point to us capturing the entire wellness, wellness space. So we're really excited about what's to come. I would say the, the thing we have been doing and the thing that we're continuing to thrive or work hard towards is helping people understand that the spa industry, the wellness industry is an industry that is managed by a team of professionals. Um, in a space whereby people are constantly seeing advertising that misrepresents the industry, I would say that we would like to break the bias in helping people understand uh, the levels of professionalism, the levels of education that come with the industry that we are in. So we are looking to educate, educate the people around us uh, to help us to help them understand what what the wellness industry is really about. I would say that I'm really passionate about women and. I know that being a Zuri alumni is going to give me access to a lot of women who I believe could benefit from uh, us interacting with them. Um, a lot of the time, I think women don't understand the importance of them putting their wellness first. So I think that we have a lot to share with the women around us and I believe that we also have a lot to learn from the other women in the different industries.